Eh, hi Nathan, oh. eh, eh, ti faccio alcune domande. Eh, la prima domanda è questa, eh, quale ruolo hanno avuto nella tua formazione artisti come Warhol, Rauschenberg e Chuck Close? They actually played a huge role. I think my fascination with portraits was always there from school growing up. And when I found Andy Warhol and his love for celebrity portraits, I just absolutely fell in love with him. And I think then people like Chuck Close helped me learn how to use the grid technique to actually enlarge and make large scale artworks. So their vibrancy, their colors, the pop culture, it all helped. E nella scelta delle tue tecniche, e utilizzi materiali deperibili, spesso derivati da alimenti, che qualificano i tuoi dipinti come un marchio personale, ma forse li condannano a una esistenza materialmente breve. L'impermanenza dell'opera d'arte sembra essere la base di questa scelta. Me ne puoi parlare? Yes, I think when I first started using unconventional perishable materials, the first one was toast with marmite, which is a very British like breakfast spread that you spread on toast. And they say that you love it or hate it. So I chose to depict controversial characters that you love or hate, like Simon Cowell, Boris Johnson, Piers Morgan, uh, the royal family, you know, all very, all very controversial people. And to begin with, it was quite upsetting that they were perishable and that I had to throw them away. But I've kind of got used to that. And it's a social comment on the world we live in today. Everything is so fast paced. Everybody is replaceable. As soon as an actor is too old to play a role, then maybe he will get replaced by another actor. The same with pop stars, the same with just the world we live in. So that is the comment that I'm trying to make. Eh, sei molto impegnato in eventi di beneficenza, eh, come quello che ti ha portato qui a Roma. Come pensi che l'arte possa oggi ritagliarsi un ruolo non solo culturale e di relazione, ma anche una funzione sociale di resistenza civile e di stimolo alla riflessione? So I use my artwork to comment on things as they happen in the world, whether it's a new story breaking or a new song released by a pop star, or the passing of a celebrity, um, sometimes politics. So I think that using artwork as a social commentary is a very important part of my work. But also because of the profile that I have created for myself over the years, I get to give back and I get to create pieces of work that can raise a lot of money for charities. Back home in the UK, I do a lot of charity work and I think that's why i was asked out here as well to take part in this exhibition at the Cyclopanti Gallery. I think to make artwork that says something, raises awareness of something like pancreatic cancer, um, it, it's, it's extremely important. And I think if it can raise money and raise awareness at the same time, then that's a great thing to do. And I'm very honored to be here in Rome to create that. E la merce tangibile muore sembra essere l'assunto della crypto art che contrappone ai meccanismi tradizionali del mondo dell'arte un rovesciamento di valore per cui non è più l'oggetto artistico a essere proprietà di qualcuno ma l'informazione intangibile di esso per un mercato di utenti che non avranno mai per le mani l'opera fisica. Come vedi il collegamento tra la tua arte, fatta di materia e di materie, e questo mondo virtuale? I think there is a definite link. There is a connection where my perishable art, whether it's a pizza or spaghetti, like behind me here, I, the originals, they don't exist anymore. They've had to go. They've been eaten or they've been recycled. And so the photograph is all that remains. Just like in crypto art where, and I've only just recently learned about crypto art, where you never have the original thing, you never have the real thing. So you have a digital replica, a digital copy, similar to what my work has to be created with, with photography and videos. So there is definitely a link. 
I can't confess to 100% understanding crypto art yet, but it's so exciting that I get to be part of this project. And I'm always learning. I think if the world is evolving and going forward, then I think that art should as well. And that's no, that's no detriment to the old fashioned, old style of art and original paintings, of course, they're, they're always going to be amazing. But I also think that we as a society should move forward with the times. So as an artist, that's quite exciting for me to be able to be a part of. L'importanza del gesto e della performance emergono spesso dai tuoi lavori. E qual è il tuo pensiero in proposito? Yes, I, I don't think I was ever conscious of the fact that it, it, I was a performance artist. I think that I've always just painted, but I love the idea of people being able to watch me. So about 10 years ago, when YouTube first started, I started putting videos of myself making work in time lapse, sped up. So a video that would take me four hours to make, people can watch in four minutes. And to me, that was very exciting. So I kind of became a performance artist naturally without realizing. And I've come to realize that the environment that I create the artwork in, just like today, I was outside the Roman Colosseum and I made art of Russell Crowe in Gladiator, but in the environment of where that's meant to be. So that became really exciting to me. And I think that art can be created anywhere. It can be in a gallery, it could be in a pub, it could be on the street, it could be in a restaurant. It could be absolutely anywhere. And I think to create art live in front of people is just as exciting for me as finishing the project. So I think it's really important to me actually to get responses from people, just like the celebrities that I'm creating. Eh, L'ultima cosa, eh, cosa pensi di portare via con te da Roma, dall'Italia? Oh, I think more than anything, it's the experience. Um, I've got to enjoy great food, meet great people and show my work to another country. I've been very privileged in my career that I've got to travel a lot of Europe, but it's my first time in Italy and of course Rome. So I think more than anything, it's just an incredible experience and to get to see these places in real life and create work based around them has been a great experience. Allora, buon lavoro. Grazie.